Keir Starmer and Adolf Hitler, while operating in different historical contexts and political environments, display certain similarities in their leadership styles, methods of control, and strategies for managing dissent. This article will focus solely on these parallels across different areas of governance and political management. 1. Restricting free speech through social media laws. The Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, has said the online safety bill is not fit for purpose. What plans do you have to look at that again? In relation to online and social media, the first thing I'd say is uh, this is not a law-free zone. And I think that's clear from the prosecutions and sentencing. Today we're due sentencing for online behaviour. That's a reminder to everyone that whether you're directly involved or whether you're remotely involved, uh, you're culpable um, and you will be put before the courts if you've broken the law. In recent years, Keir Starmer has supported and worked within the framework of laws aimed at regulating harmful content on social media with new legislation like the Online Safety Bill, passed in 2023. I do agree that we're going to have to look um, more broadly at social media um, after uh, this disorder, but the focus at the moment has to be on dealing with the disorder and making sure that our communities are safe and secure. Would it be helpful if uh, people like Elon Musk were more mindful of who they let on their platforms, if he was more mindful of what he actually posts? I think people should be mindful of the first priority, which is to ensure that our communities are safe and secure. Uh... This law is intended to curb online hate speech, harassment and misinformation by holding platforms accountable for harmful content and, in some cases, prosecuting individuals for harmful posts. Critics argue that this law is a form of censorship, limiting free speech by criminalising certain types of online expression even if those expressions do not incite violence or direct harm. Adolf Hitler, during his rise to power, imposed restrictions on speech, tightly controlling the media and censoring any content that was critical of the regime or did not align with Nazi ideology. Independent media was eliminated and citizens were punished for expressing dissenting views ensuring that only state-sanctioned narratives were allowed to exist. Similarity. Both Starmer and Hitler have been involved in implementing or supporting frameworks that regulate public expression. In Starmer's case, it is through modern social media laws that limit harmful online content. While in Hitler's regime, it was through control of traditional media and public speech. In both cases, restrictions on free expression have been introduced to protect society or maintain public order. 2. Party, control and leadership discipline. Let me be very clear about that. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn will not stand for Labour at the next general election as a Labour Party candidate. Uh, what I said about the party changing, I meant and we are not going back and that is why Jeremy Corbyn will not stand as a Labour candidate at the next general election. Thank you, Alex. Both Keir Starmer and Adolf Hitler have exercised strong control over their respective political parties, focusing on centralising leadership and ensuring loyalty within their ranks. Keir Starmer, upon becoming the leader of the Labour Party, took decisive actions to discipline and suspend members, such as former leader Jeremy Corbyn who was seen as out of line with the direction he wanted to take the party. His leadership has focused on marginalising extreme factions within the party and presenting a more unified, centrist platform, often pushing aside voices that could harm electoral prospects. Similarly, Adolf Hitler worked to consolidate power within the Nazi party by eliminating internal dissent. After securing his leadership position, he systematically removed rivals and dissenters, ensuring absolute loyalty to his rule. This control over the party allowed him to steer the Nazi party without significant internal opposition. Similarity, both Starmer and Hitler sought to centralize control within their parties, taking disciplinary action against members who posed challenges to their leadership. This tactic of consolidating power and promoting unity within the party is a common feature of their leadership styles. 
Three, public messaging and use of media. Both leaders have been involved in carefully managing their public messaging and controlling the narratives around their leadership and policies. Keir Starmer has strategically used modern media and communication tools, including social media, press conferences and political campaigns, to shape public perception and project a unified message for the Labour Party. His leadership has been focused on presenting a coherent narrative that distances the party from more extreme elements while promoting centrist policies. Adolf Hitler, through the control of Nazi propaganda, used the media extensively to shape public opinion. The Ministry of Propaganda, led by Joseph Goebbels, was responsible for ensuring that only regime-approved messages were disseminated and the media was used as a tool to reinforce Nazi ideology and control public thought. Similarity. Both leaders used media and messaging to shape public perception and maintain control over the narrative surrounding their leadership. Starmer and Hitler recognized the importance of controlling public discourse to ensure political success. Four, national unity and centralized control. Both Starmer and Hitler have worked to unify their political movements by consolidating power and marginalizing dissenting voices. Keir Starmer has emphasized party unity, especially after the divisive leadership of Jeremy Corbyn. His efforts to centralize control and present a unified vision for Labour are aimed at making the party more electable and focused on the broader national interest. Adolf Hitler, upon securing his leadership, focused on unifying the Nazi party and the nation under a singular centralized control. By marginalizing or eliminating internal dissent and opposition, he was able to create a sense of national unity. Similarity, both leaders sought to create unity within their movements by centralizing control and sidelining those who did not conform to their vision. The drive for unity through the consolidation of power is a shared tactic. Five, response to economic crises. Addressing economic challenges through state intervention has been a common theme in both Starmer's and Hitler's leadership. Keir Starmer has focused on economic recovery in the wake of Brexit and the COVID-19 pandemic, promoting public investment, job creation and social welfare policies aimed at stabilizing the economy. His approach involves using the state as a vehicle to address national economic challenges. Adolf Hitler, coming to power during the economic chaos of post-World War I Germany and the Great Depression, implemented state-driven economic programs such as public works projects to reduce unemployment and stabilize the economy. His leadership also saw the state intervene heavily in the economy to address the crisis. Similarity, both Starmer and Hitler employed state intervention to address economic challenges, using public works and government-led initiatives as tools to stabilize the economy and reduce unemployment. Six, handling political opposition. Managing internal opposition has been a significant aspect of leadership for both Starmer and Hitler. Keir Starmer has dealt with internal opposition within the Labour Party by taking disciplinary measures, such as suspensions, to ensure party cohesion. His leadership has been marked by efforts to marginalise extreme factions and prevent internal dissent from disrupting Labour's prospects in elections. Adolf Hitler similarly sought to eliminate opposition within the Nazi Party. His consolidation of power involved not only marginalising, but outright eliminating opponents through purges, ensuring no internal resistance to his leadership. Similarity, both leaders took active measures to neutralize internal opposition and maintain control over their political movements. The tactic of consolidating power by addressing dissent is a common feature of their leadership. Keir Starmer and Adolf Hitler share certain tactical similarities in how they approach leadership. Both sought to centralize control within their parties, manage public messaging, unify their movements, respond to economic crises through state intervention, 
and neutralize internal opposition. These similarities reflect common political strategies used by leaders seeking to consolidate power and maintain authority within their respective systems.